majority of kids and teenagers are self-conscious about their appearance. This according to a new poll. Two-thirds of parents told researchers with the University of Michigan their child is insecure about how they look. So much to the fact that a fifth of teens actually just avoided photos and taking photos mm -hmm. altogether. You think back to when you were a teenager yeah. and you were going through that phase and the things that made you insecure, mm -hmm. whether it was acne, whether it was your weight, whether it was a certain hairstyle, or maybe you didn't have clothes that you know that you didn't like, you didn't feel they fit well. Mm -hmm. You think about all those things, and we were just talking during the break about anxiety, it brings back all those feelings of anxiety for so many people. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and then when you think about social media and just the pressure to look a certain way, mm -hmm. all those photos are doctored, but kids mm -hmm. don't always know that. They right. think this is real. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I think that we didn't have the social media like mm -hmm. we do now, but you know, it was more like television shows and magazines mm -hmm. and things like that that you would see for, for us, and still, you know, it was there. It was, I don't think it was talked about as much. It became more, uh, uh, more of a conversation as the years went on, but now, I mean, I think it'd be extremely difficult. And with my kids, I mean, they're going to be turning five. I'm already concerned about like how that image is going to be portrayed. Mm -hmm. It's in it's interesting because you do see on certain um, posts, for example, celebrities, for example, Bethany Frankel, who will post like a picture and mm -hmm. then she posts what she really looks like. Right. Yeah. And it's she's like, stop the you know mm -hmm. like the fake. And it's interesting. On that is on how it is, but it's just it's it's sad and scary. It honestly. is sad and scary because you think about you know it, you go back to our era too. You think about you know eating disorders. You think about yeah. depression. You think about mm -hmm. self-esteem. You add in social media to all mm -hmm. this, but it's not it's for you know it's, you talk about teenagers here, and you're talking about a lot of teenagers, but even younger kids too. I mean, more than half of younger kids in that eight to twelve, they're also concerned about what they look like because mm -hmm. they see as Riley was mentioning, the magazines, they see yeah. the TV, they mm -hmm. see the movies, they see what they're supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. And I can even see sometimes, even in my little eight-year-old, um, sometimes she says these things and my heart stops because I'm thinking, oh my gosh, yeah. like already mm -hmm. this is starting. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you think, I, I'm guessing you would agree then, cell phones and the prevalence of cell phones has, I think we would all agree, it has made it that much tougher yeah. because it's access to things 24-7. Mm -hmm. I think so, but I also wonder too, going back to a little bit of what Riley said, is we're talking about it more mm -hmm. now, so maybe there is a greater awareness of of these issues and a, more of a willingness to be able to talk about them, but I don't, I don't know, does that cancel it out? Well, I don't know. I, even as a kid, like I remember talking, you know, just like eating disorders and stuff with my mother, just kind of understanding what it was about, and it was like the Karen Carpenter yeah, story, you know, sure. and that was like yeah. the really first thing I heard about it, and I was right. young, and then it went into, you know, what was it, Tracy, or uh, uh, from uh, Growing Pains. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. wow. The sister, yeah, remember? Sure, the sister. Yeah. That was at the yeah. 80s, and then that, but you don't really get the conversation out as much until it's really, you know, come out of like a magazine or something, right. and, and they, you know, admit it and mm -hmm. say that I had an, I had this or I had this sort of um, it, or thing going on. So I just think we taught it's a lot more open. Yeah. No. It's mm -hmm. a conversation that is definitely worth having. Absolutely. You know, yes. with, with children, no mm -hmm. matter where they are, it's definitely worth having that yeah. conversation. Yeah.